exceptional job distributing the ball and taking care of it. And a three on the way, and the bottom is found from A.J. Griffin. Wanted to go after Armando Baycott, make him guard on the perimeter. Puff Johnson just into the game, and Griffin overpowers him off the inbounds play, and Duke's up 13 to 2. 50 of 3 on the season. Carolina's got three guys that have made 40 or more threes on the year. And A.J. Griffin. And Griffin noted for three from Justin Williams. Here comes Bancaro. And one way to keep an opponent out of transition is run good offense, and that's been difficult for North Carolina thus far. Got an offensive foul using the off arm. Foul. Ball by Ron Groover. Not much there. I don't get that one. He's a perimeter big that stretches the floor. It's just a different, different team makeup. Back to work is A.J. Griffin. This is something that A.J. Griffin can drive. Griffin for three. Closer. Here's Love. His shooting woes continue. The crowd trying to should go to work on Baycott, see if he can pick up that third foul. Griffin working on Manic. Manic made it tough and is not tough enough as Griffin is in the double figures with 11. Horn set, got a switch early on. Boy, awfully difficult shot, the turnaround to him. Griffin's had an answer all night in the first half, not this time. Can get a couple of stops, couple of scores. This game will look a lot different in the second half. And as he has throughout the first half, the freshman A.J. Griffin. And Carroll needs to take Black down in the post. Griffin lost it off his foot, and Carolina has a chance to get ball movement. R.J. Davis. And Griffin has the rebound for Duke. Bancaro's five points that you mentioned, Jay, came in under two minutes in the first half, and he went over 18 and a half minutes and didn't get anything, and right out of the gate. And he's made, what, 35 of them on the year. Good backdoor cut, just couldn't complete it. Ball rolling along the baseline. It'll be Duke ball. The game and do a positive thing on the offensive end, but from a defensive standpoint, play defense without fouling. Caleb Love, an important part of your offense. Williams, who had two fouls in the first half. There's Griffin again, trying the lob, and perhaps he should have gone ahead and shot it, and Bancaro. And Bancaro's trying to get down in the post, but Black is fighting him. Griffin does shoot at this time, and he is feeling it. A.J. Griffin. Well, and it's been A.J. Griffin. Now he's got Manic able to drive it. Griffin pulls up and scores. Now that is a really difficult matchup of matchups. And the most difficult matchup for North Carolina is Brady Manick on A.J. Griffin. The little ball screen, the switch, Baycott couldn't get out. Then he drives Manick, able to make the tough shot. 2-3 zone to start. Griffin, that is way, way off. And Leaky Black is one of the seniors for the Tar Heels. He'd have another year if things worked out. He chose so. Jeremy Roach with the answer. Stops the fast break opportunity. Jumping in the passing lane with the ball still winds up in Griffin's hand. Williams offensive forward. Every time the Tar Heels have tried to put together a little streak, somebody's had an answer. Often it's been Griffin. If Carolina's facing against Duke. One of two on the free throw line. Manic. He's been in the paint much more. Now Mike Krzyzewski in his final trip to the Dean Dome. Players talking in the days leading up to the game. They wanted to put on a good performance. To send Coach K for way and boy has Griffin done his part. Well Armando Baycott having to take A.J. Griffin. That is not a good matchup for North Carolina. And Griffin able to turn the corner. gave him an opportunity and Griffin has taken that he's shooting 50 percent from three the road team coming into a house and dominating the way Duke has it's hard to remember a more dominating performance I mean North Carolina has never led in this game and coach K's last ride into the Dean Smith Center and time has run out 87 to 67